Now this is an SPS coral that came out of um, the tank of a retailer who's been having some problems. They've been losing corals that are trans shipped. They lose half of the corals to RTM. Look carefully, do you see the philaster swimming around? So clearly the RTM parasite is here on this coral, but we're gonna see a few other parasites as well. So stick around, I'm gonna make this one interesting. You can see the tissue loss, the bare skeleton. You see patches of tissue that are dying. Again, for those of you new to this discussion, all of these views are through the microscope. This is at about 40x or 40 times magnification, 40 times normal. Oh, right there. Now that looks to me like cryptocarion. Typically round, brown, what we call homogeneous or even appearance of the cytoplasm. There's a philaster and a cryptocarion in the same view. And what we're seeing over here, this movement, these are actually zooanthella. Zooanthella, leaving the coral. And this is what happens during bleaching. And look who's chasing them down. The philasters are chasing the zooanthella down. Incredible. So the zooanthella actually know the philasters are there to eat them and they're trying to leave the coral and get away. Now this is a philaster, RTN parasite. Its body has about 20 zooanthella in it. You can see them. And what you see in this video really is that there's more than one parasite. There's actually multiple parasites working together.